Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. You will succeed. I will succeed. Not because of my own power, ability, or capacity, but because of the name Jesus. Make no mistake. Before you were born to this life, you were not conscious that one day you'll be a human being. But God knows that you will create a, a human being in his own image according to his likeness. Why must you think today that you can do it by yourself? If you were not conscious that one day you'll be a human being, you did not even choose which family, which tribe, which province, which country. You just find yourself in Zambia. You find yourself in UK, China, America. There you know that you became what you have become today because of Jesus. You knew nothing about your beginning and your end. What you know is now. Do you know what is next? You don't know. You don't even know what 2024 will bring to your life. You will succeed not because of your education or maybe there are people who are saying no, we'll make you a leader. No one can make you a leader. No. No one can make you a lawyer, a teacher, a president if it is not God himself who put you there. Make no mistake. In this world, there are people who claim to be, no, we made this one to be this. No. If it was not the will of God, that person will not be there. That person will not be there. This is why if I, you know, I announce here to say, oh, next year, oh, 2026, I'm going to stand, you know, as a president. That is not enough. Jesus must back my announcement. Jesus must convince me to say, yes, go and announce. And I'm going to campaign for you. His campaign is not to go everywhere to say, oh, vote for Mlenga. No, you just hook your mind to say, I love my son Mlenga. He's the next president. Before you know it, you'll be dancing. Mlenga, Mlenga, Mlenga. That is Jesus. Jesus has already influenced your what? Tamwari hapana nguni koini. But Jesus nange but you are the next leader. Ngana pita. Eh, bamude, bamude, bamude. Tu wala ikala shana ati mailo. Imamudi besu imwe. Until I win what? The elections. That's when you come back to your senses and say, ah, ah. How come? He said this, he said that. It is only God who can put you there. You cannot stop me. You may not like me, but the truth of the matter is that you cannot stop me. As long as Jesus said you will succeed, I will succeed. You remember the scripture we read, Matthew 17, but you can start from there, but because of time, let me take you to Luke chapter 5. The scripture that you know. Chapter 5, verse 4. Tell your neighbor before you read, say, I will succeed. I will succeed. Not because of you, because. but because of Jesus. Because. Say, I will make it. I will Not because of you, because. but because of Christ. Because of Christ. <laughs> Listen to this, verse 4. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into a deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Verse 5. This is the answer from a human being like you and me. According to your experience, according to what you have done, this is the way you can answer. 
Verse 5. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. We have worked so hard all night and we haven't got anything. But because you say so, I will let the nets down. Jesus was not a fisherman. He just came in the morning. Peter cast the net this side. He said, no, 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 no. You don't know what you are talking about. We have been, you know, working all night. Not even one fish. Now he looked at, he said, oh, it's the master. Follow me. Verse 6. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. Are you there? Just the word from Jesus. I want you to marry the message I shared with you last Sunday. When Peter was told to go and catch the fish so that they can pay the temple tax, Jesus said, Peter, go to the river or the sea. The first fish that you catch Open its mouth. Remove the four coins. Come and pay the temple tax. And Peter obeyed. Peter did what? Obeyed. And he catch the fish. He opened the mouth of the fish and he removed what? The coins. This is Jesus again. He said, cast the net down. Peter said, master, the whole night, we couldn't catch not even one fish. But since you say so, I'll cast the net down. Here is the answer for you. Those who are doubting, you can doubt me. You can doubt me, yes. But never you doubt the word of God. It is life. It is progress. It is good health. It is success for the salvation of your soul. When they had done so, they caught a, such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. Because Jesus said, cast the net down. Meaning, the word of God, when the word comes, it will not go back. The word of God always creates things. Once it is spoken about your life, grab it. Cast the net and they caught a lot of fish. No. If you want to make it in this life, believe in Jesus. Stop doubting his word. You can doubt yourself. You can think about your decision. You can think about your qualification, but never you think about the word of God. Believe in it. And when you believe, you become the word. And what you believe is what you produce. Are you there, people of God? But yes, he said, cast the net. Today I want you to cast your net so that you catch that large fish to feed your family and to feed the nation. Whatever area where you are crying for, for your father to help you, this is your word. I said, this is your word.
the area where you are complaining, you cast your net in that area. Jesus has already spoken to your life. Once you do that, expect the large harvest. And people who come, listen to this. Let me finish this one so that you get the point. Verse 7. So they signaled their partners on the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. Meaning, when God answered your prayer, and when you are reaching to that point of success, even your neighbor, they are going to enjoy that neighborhood with you. Now all night, toiling and toiling, toiling and toiling, not even one fish. The man Jesus appeared, who doesn't know how to fail? Who doesn't know disappointment? Who doesn't know failure? Who doesn't know limitation? He said, put here, my friend. And Peter obeyed. I'm telling you, if you take Jesus according to his word, even your neighbor will enjoy that neighborhood with you. They invited their colleagues, come and help us. You know when you are blessed by God Almighty, you, you, you are not going to be stingy. No. Fila fluka. Fila chitashan. Fila pari la kunse. Psalms 23 verse 5. Fila pari la kuisa. Kunse. I will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemy. Bafile vamo na tia pape na te uyuwa bomboa bomba ni nani? So, our success is not because of this one or that one. No. Remember when Jesus appeared here on earth, he was just alone. Who made him to become, you know, popular? Is he not God himself? The power of God is the magnet to attract what you need in life. The people that you know God can use to push you forward. Don't claim anything that you have done this or that. It is Jesus who is at work in you. Yes. This woman was barren for so many years. They will keep on asking these questions until they see you carrying twins. Before they know it, another set of twins. Before they know it, another set of twins. Nga mwadishi bi kwa sana. Nga mwadishi tashani. Nga mwadishi bi kwa sana. We are also coming. We are also what? Coming. We are also coming. Ugu tangira kia kustashani. Look, I think you can go and ask Peter that the other group, I'm sure about the to go to Sabi that. But Peter had nothing the all night. But Jesus appeared to him. He caught more than you know he was expecting. Even his friends who were very close to him benefited. So you can answer that one. Whether you love me, whether they love you, they hate you, that is not your problem. That is not your problem. Your problem is because you believe in Jesus. That is the more reason why they hate you. Because you follow Jesus in a manner that you always obey the instruction from him. This is why he will follow you. Are you telling me that it was only Peter on the lake? There were so many fishermen. But the heart of Peter attracted Jesus. Peter cast the net. He said, no, master. The whole night, not even one fish. You will make it. You will succeed. You will make it in this life. Before you leave this world. It will be a problem solver. I say no one knows you in this world. But Jesus will make you to be known all over the world.
Peter that lies support of Africa. We shall reach the pork of Africa. Even today we are talking about Peter. Who made Peter to be known? Jesus. Who made Peter to be known? Who made you to be known? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Ah, it's like you are doubting. When Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. He recognized the presence of God. He said, No, no one can do this if it is not God Almighty. This man is a holy man. I was doubting. Now he has made me to believe that it is not because I am a fisherman. I've been doing this job for so many years. I need Jesus to be part of my fishing career. Come on, people of God. Even if you are there, you have got that vast experience. You need Jesus to show you how to approach the situation. How to conquer your destiny. How to make things happen in life. Not because of your mind, but because the invisible hand of God is there. Yes, Jesus You'll be like Jesus. You'll be like what? The only thing you need to do is to acknowledge your fault. I mean, your weakness, your sin to say, yes, I am a sinner. People of God, this is November 2023. And this is the last Sunday in this month of November 2023. I want you to take Jesus to his word and see if Jesus can disappoint you. Whether you'll be alone whether there will be people who will be doubting you. As long as you are with Jesus, one with Jesus is majority. You will make it. You will succeed. Even those who are wishing you to say, I don't think so this year will end. This person will die. They are lying. They, are, they don't know who you are in the eyes of God. They don't know who is behind your destiny. They don't know who is pushing you. Remember the word I said. Uku tangira tia kuchitashani. Nangumuli abaka nkala lelo. Fino fine nende shimikile chewo pano njiminine. Eko bali owole sala inyo kuchila futipari ine. Nga chaka tinde monati nine wafeneka. I'm deceiving myself. It is only God who is alone. And no one can take that position from him. It is only him who is alone. So, take this message as a personal message for you and see if Jesus cannot you make you succeed in this life. Don't believe in this majority. You see people, then you say, oh, I think because I want to balance on I want to balance in terms. Umuntu kuti akwa tinari kutemo. Wadi shwefi alanda ngataudi po. Ulanda fie simofi nena ngataudi po ni nani? Chapwa. Not your muntu awe. That's why inga wachete kelo muntu. Tawi shwefi alanda pari wole tondo anyatno kai na supporti inkwete awa na awa na awa na awa. I'm sure fi alai chitika. Tawi shwefi behind you, but they are also having another meeting against you. How are you going to succeed? How are you going to succeed? These are the people that you trust. Sometimes people can follow you because of money. They will start calling you Wamiya Yaya. They will be clapping all over. All over. They are clapping because you are dropping something. By the time you are leaving, you say, this idiot. Who will see? Who will see? Where you are, you are saying, no, in fact, we will make it this time around because even that one, and that one, and that one, and that, you count them, 20 or 30. 
behind your back, they are saying, we are going to make this man fail. But with Jesus, even if you are planning those evil things, you are deceiving yourself. Do you know what Jesus can do for you? If you know he wants you to succeed, the same people who are having meetings behind your back, Jesus will bring what? Kavruvulu. You know Kavruvulu. <laughs> you know Kavruvulu. Within themselves, they will be what? Kavruvulu. No understanding. No communication. They will start now reporting what they, you know, they used to say. But you say, do you know, sir, this man was saying this. This man was saying this. Just say, thank you, Jesus. I will succeed. Say, I will succeed. Say, I will succeed. Not because of you, but because of Jesus. Say, I will make it. Not because of you, but because of Christ. I shall be promoted. Not because of you, but because of Jesus. Yes. Some of you, you don't know that one day you'll be a minister of this country. You don't know. You don't know. It is not your, your fellow human being who can make you to be a minister. It is God. God himself can do that. And people start saying, no, we did it for him. No, you cannot do that for me. It is God. Who made Jesus to be the Messiah? God himself. Can I see your right hand? As it is written here, you will cast your net and catch your fish. What has been a problem? You have been trying, toiling, fasting, nothing and nothing. This is the word from Jesus. He said, Peter, cast your net on the deep water. Peter said, Master, the whole night we couldn't catch not even one fish. Since you say so, I will cast the net. Peter cast the net and he catch such a large amount of fish. To the extent where but even the net was like breaking. He signaled his friends, come and help us. The Bible says that all the, the two boats were filled up with fish. They were almost sinking. I want to send this word to you. It is not me, it is Jesus. Even those who are watching us. Let me see your net like this. Carry your net like this. Yes. Make no mistake. I'll be the first one to give the testimony. Are you there? Yes. In the name of Jesus. You, you know how to catch the fish? Do you know how to? Show me the way you catch the fish first. Eh? Ah, Nindo way. Eh? You catch the fish like this. Eh? Okay. Eh, let, me, let me see your net. This is a prophetic word. Take it serious. Do you believe in your heart? Do you believe? Yes. Thank you. Jesus always honors his word. His word cannot be destroyed or nullified by anyone. He is more than your enemy. More than your situation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even those who are outside. Let me see your net. Are you holding the net? You bring your fish like this. <clears throat> yes. Let's go now. In the name of Jesus. Open your hand like this. Let's go. In the name of Jesus. Catch your fish. This one. Listen. Listen. This one. 2024, poverty should not be near your, your, your business. Failure should not be here. 
your, your business. This your hand has been counting money and demand. If you, you go through the money that you have spent here on, it's millions, but you can't see it. And you are getting old. Are you not worried? Are you not worried? Come on. Huh? Fill your boat. Fill your boat. Let's go. In Jesus' name. Fill your boat. Fill your boat. Fill your boat. Fill your boat. Next year, 2024, you need to become a problem solver in your family. Yes. When Jesus say yes, no one can say. People may not, you know, like you, but Jesus love you. Get it? The last one before I go to the. Uh, you are receiving this because of your eternal life. Because Satan is using these physical problems to take away our peace, to create confusion, to bring worry and causing BP, anxiety. Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Fill your boat now. All these fish is for you. In Jesus' name. Uh -huh. Fill it. Fill it. Fill your boat. Fill your boat. Fill your boat. Let people eat from your hand. People must eat from your hand. People must eat from your hand. Yes. Orphans, widows, underprivileges, your family members, let them eat from your hand. The name of Jesus. Let them eat from your hand. The name of Jesus. Let them eat from your hand. Your house, your house must be filled. Your house must be filled. Let them eat from your hand. Let them eat from your hand. God will multiply your hundred kwacha. Your thousand kwacha. Into millions of kwacha. In Jesus name. This is my second message talking about money. I started last week. Because poverty as you know has been disturbing our thinking. You are inside the church. You are thinking about you. When you go out, finish in Alasanga. Mwe shuapwa. Balandro di bachine mba message. Kai balandro di mwe shingo wangu kwa mba fiat good morning. Nishuwa ishuwa tibale fuwa inshi. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you. When you are sitting down, don't lose this grace. That you'll make it in life. You will make it. You are not going to end your life like your forefathers. Go and visit your uncle. Who retired maybe five years ago. Three years ago, ten years ago. You pit your uncle and you, you see poverty all over. Where is the money? Hmm. There is no Jesus in their lives. You, you are with Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I have a friend. Who never fell. I am a friend. Who never fell. I am a friend. I am a friend.